Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your August 1st through the 15th love reading. Thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, likes, and commenters. I really appreciate that. Again, this is for Sagittarius, August 1st through the 15th love reading. Feeling very comfortable. It looks like you've decided to do something else. It looks like you've decided to start some start over on something. Or to start new. You're ready to fly. You are. It looks like at the beginning of the of August you're feeling really good. You're feeling very comfortable and content with yourself um that's probably around the first second then you're feeling like i'm feeling so good i think i'm gonna i might take a risk you know i feel i might, might take a risk and i might even you know fly higher than i thought i was gonna um <laughs> yeah I, I feel like you're you're really re about to do something um risky Okay, but it, you're doing it with faith and trust, and it's not a bad thing. Okay, it's a good risk. Um, it could have something to do with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or a um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, but I think it might be a little impulsive. Okay, so you might be a little um, too impulsive with this person. Um, this person is very sensitive. Um, kind um they can be emotional or they can be cold so it, they're they're wishy-washy put it that way but they're very um charismatic okay and they're intuitive and they're caring and they're gentle all right so i think it might have something to do with um i think it might be a water sign that this person is that is towards the end of the week they are in your life. But you might be do something, act impulsively towards them. So just be careful. Hmm. Or you might be moving a little too quick. Or, or they might be moving. Somebody's moving too quick. Put it that way. Somebody's moving in a little too fast. But, oh my goodness, your difficult times are over. And this is great. So, you know that difficult time you've been going through for the last year? You know, I see that, that that's over for you. I think you're going to start a new, a new path. I really do. I think you're finally starting to feel comfortable. Your self-esteem has came up. And your difficult feelings that you had about yourself or the difficult times that you've had are over. And you're, you're about ready to um, start something new with faith. And it's a little bit risky, but I think you're going to do it. Yeah, somebody's moving too fast because they're scared of missing an opportunity. All right. And if you move too fast, if you move too fast or you um, be too impulsive, you could miss an opportunity. So just, I mean, this person is generally very, they don't move fast. I mean, they move, they move. It's not like the pentacles where they, you know, tiptoe. They, they, um, they move a little bit faster than that. But you got to remember to come in, just be a little bit uh, more gentle. All right. Um, you don't want to miss the opportunity, okay?
I know it seems like you want to go for what if this guy he goes for what he wants he goes for it he just like goes for it power you know he he takes the takes his power and he goes for it and he's some like I said you gentle gentle this is saying that you know you're going for it. I think you are you might be going towards a water sign okay but this is really telling me that you need to be gentle in your approach be very gentle in your approach okay gentle 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 that's big the thing is is that it's about time you get your justice it's about time that the right thing happened for you okay this is about doing the right thing for you this is about finally getting your justice or after a very difficult time you've been through a difficult time I know that you have okay but now that your self esteem in your home life and just everything is feeling so good this this is now over and that is your justice okay that was part of your karma okay it was part of your karma we have a lot of um hidden forces here all this was meant to be to make you into this butterfly to make you into this person you've become that's why all of your this past year has happened but look where you're going okay This is the last card in the deck. This is where you've learned a major, some major, major life lessons, okay? In a new, and this is karma. It's very much karma. The whole last year has been a whole pile of karma. Paid debt. It has, because you are about to start a brand new phase of your life. A brand new phase of your life. And you're doing it by going for it, by taking the risk, by going for it. Okay, that's the truth. It is, you are, you do, do take the risk. I'm telling you right now, the universe is working with you. There's stuff going on behind the scenes right now. Okay, that's working in your favor, working to provide you the justice that you deserve. Okay, but... Um, I definitely see that you need to be a little more gentle in your approach, okay? You are about to start a new phase of your life where you have been, you know, independent. You've been alone. You've had to do it by yourself, but you've acquired a lot. Look at the lessons you've even learned in that um, period of time. Even if you were with somebody, but you were alone, same thing. Look at the lessons. Look what you've learned in the past year. I don't know where this year thing is coming from. I really don't, but that is for you. Look at that. Look at the twos. I mean, there's two cats and there's <clears throat> the two cups. That's where I get the twos from. There's two people or two people in the mix here. So I do think, you know, here you are and here's this water sign. So there definitely could be a water sign that makes you not independent anymore this one right here is the queen of pentacles oh not the queen of pentacles the nine of pentacles but it's the i call it put the queen in there but anyway it's it's the other deck but um she's an independent widow you know she's a widow she's independent she's a divorcee whatnot whatever um taking care of herself for a very long time that's the way i see it can be new too but in this case i feel like a lot of you have been taking care of yourself for a very long time and you've been waiting and waiting for the universe to take care of this for you and they have been working on it behind the scenes and now I think you're about to take a risk that leads to a union a union where opposites probably attract <sighs> okay okay so you might meet this person at a gathering, okay? You might you might um, come face to face with this person at a gathering and, and realize that um, they could be part of your future. Yep, but you're afraid. 
Are you afraid? What the hell are you afraid of? Here you're feeling really proud like you're going to fly. You're ready to fly. This is at the beginning though. I, this is the 1st through the 15th. But down here, you're feeling like, I'm not sure if I dare to. I'm not sure if I dare. But there's nothing to be escape, scared of. <laughs> there's nothing to be scared of because this is very karmic. This whole reading is very, very karmic. And this is, um, this is harmony, okay? This is contentment. This is like um, happiness with somebody else. It is. With some, there's two and two. It is. It's with somebody else. There's nothing to be scared of. Okay? You don't need to feel play like you're a victim okay or feel like you're trapped somewhere or perhaps that you are trapped if you are with somebody and you can't get out then yes you're trapped um or if you're trapped in your head somehow you're trapped this is you're trapped you you want to take a risk there's something going on behind the scenes working helping you wanting you to take this risk <clears throat> They see that you have been alone, that you've been taking care of yourself, and you've been doing so pretty well. Okay, they see that. But for some reason, you are holding yourself back. You might miss an opportunity. You, I mean, I don't think you're going to because this world is here, and this is advice saying do not miss an opportunity. Okay? Don't miss an opportunity. Perhaps, I don't know. Yes, you need to be gentle. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Be gentle. And maybe you just need to open up. That's part of being gentle. By not being harsh, by not being cold, by not, you know, holding it all in. By the 15th, you could be feeling really, really good, really good. This is towards the end of the month. This is, Now, this may or may not resonate with all of you. Some of it may, and some of it may not. Like, this part may, and this part may not. You know, this is for a lot of people, okay? So, whoever it's meant to resonate for, it is. Whoever it's not, it's not. You know, so don't, don't hold me to it. Take what you can get from it, and go from there. You guys are usually pretty good. I haven't really had any negative comments from you guys, so I don't expect. I hopefully I don't I don't get any. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. Ah, something that in the past this is over. Something is over with. And I say it's within the last year. For some reason, I keep thinking year. You have some major completions here. <coughs> major. Okay. Where big, um, refreshing, new energy is coming in. Okay. It's a, it's a new time of your life. It is the new time of your life. If you choose to open up open up and let go and not be afraid it's a self esteem thing it's a self this there's no reason for this none 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 it's all about self esteem sorry about that i'm trying to get you a little bit back. there's the self esteem problem right here i'll show it to you no reason. None. That butterfly is ready. But just soon hang there for no good reason. Doesn't feel like that butterfly doesn't think she's ready. Damn. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That goes right here. With whatever this was whatever this was that damn near you know the last year 
this relationship with yourself, this, this relationship with low self-esteem. There's not enough. Like, what the hell? You want to see some more? Or should I stop? This one seems to be jumping around. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. If you're not religious, take out the word religious. Okay? Your love life is influenced by your upbringing and path. No shit. has to do with your self-esteem your upbringing has to do with your low self-esteem that's a fact <gasps> oh of course thank you let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally yes yes be very gentle 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 let go of control issues. What the hell? Open up your wings. Show the world how beautiful you are and get moving. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. With this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Be gentle with them. Be gentle with your approach. Yes. <clears throat> go after them I would say yes approach them or don't be afraid get your esteem up and approach them but make sure you approach them gently you know so Sagittarius that's what I have for you I think you have <coughs> potential for a union with somebody okay a loving union should your self-esteem get to a point where you can show your full beauty hard times that you've had are over they are the last year is done you are about to start a brand new life and if it's not in august it's very soon or it's already happened i've been seeing this i really believe this for you guys i really really do i believe it all anyway but um <coughs> it's time it's time for you guys. It really is. I know it is. I know it is. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for um, all your support. And I look forward to hearing from you.